So, I'm in a school bus. <laughs> Today, I think I'm gonna go to Ciudad Quesada to get some paint. And then I really need to get some new sandals because my sandals broke. Next weekend, I wanna go on a trip to the coast. So I wanna find out if there's some bus information I can get in Ciudad Quesada. I think I'm gonna get a taxi into town. I tried to call the taxi driver, he didn't answer. I sent him a WhatsApp message. He hasn't received it. I tried Uber. It's been looking for a driver for like 15 minutes now. Ugh, I think I have no choice but to try and hitchhike. The lady at the liquor store just told me that there are no buses going to Ciudad Quesada until 3.40. That's a little bit too late because it's going to be way too dark. I really wish I would have left earlier and I keep getting cat called. Do I really look like a cat? All right, this giant store is right outside of where I just got off the bus. So I'm gonna see if I can find some sandals here. My options are very limited, but I don't really care. I'm just gonna pick one of these. The store seems to have everything. It even has paint. I don't know how good it is, but it says it's acrylic and honestly, that's good enough for me. So I'll just get all the primary colors. This is Franklin. I just met him. He was helping me figure out the bus schedules. Hola, mucho gusto, Franklin. Es un placer. Yo soy de una provincia que se llama Heredia, cerca de San José. Muy linda esta zona. Realmente vale la pena venir a visitar. Yo me encanta. Yo soy de ciudad, pero la ciudad yo no quiero volver. Mucha contaminación, muchos carros. La gente quiere dinero fácil y yo no. Aquí se trabaja muy tranquilo. Y el trabajo que yo hago es brindar información a los turistas. También tengo un carro ilegal, pero mi servicio es excelente porque me gusta que el turista que llegue a la fortuna se vaya muy contento y feliz. Normalmente siempre uno encuentra de todo, gente que son muy amables, como la muchacha que está aquí, es muy gentil ella. El que quiera venir a la fortuna de San Carlos hay mucha actividad y les, y les recomiendo las aguas calientes gratis, el chollín. Puedo ayudarlos. Mi nombre es Franklin Murillo y siempre me encuentro en esta zona hasta donde Dios me lo permita. Gracias por su atención. Gracias, Franklin. Ah, yo paso aquí, yo paso aquí siempre dando información. Two dollars and eighty cents. It's crazy. So Franklin bought me a coffee and we had a long conversation about life, about people, and he told me that usually foreigners don't really ask him about his life. It's kind of sad to know that people come to a new country and they're just so focused on seeing the attractions and they forget about 
you know, I feel like the most important part of traveling, which is connecting with people. He got me this flower. <laughs> He's so sweet. Then I met two people from Spain. I told them about the free hot springs, so hopefully they'll check those out. And then I met another guy. He invited me to go to the hot springs in like half an hour, so I'm just sitting in the park in La Fortuna. Ayahuasca root, the Santa ID, and the Stenosa copy and the leaf. 12 hours, the mantra, the song. He made this. Si you go ceremony ayahuasca, the chaman, hey, pay me and protect you. Not real. Because the ayahuasca, you find you. You don't need other. The other doesn't it. The other is you drink. Understand que ese holograma y la matriz, you are the cradle of the holograma. Yeah. And con guía de playa es, or rescue the soul. What soul? My soul, porque okay. everything is one. But now ya the people understand, porque ese chain de dimensión, de planet, de galaxy, o de universo. Yeah. There are five dimensions. Now, si you have contact con the animals, you can feel it right See, now. Yeah, I can feel your energy. Yeah? You got a very nice energy. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I just made friends with the bus driver and he gave me this. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. I love that. Can I see it? I'm not sure what it's made of. I'm here for about a week. Nice. And you? I just moved to a town that's not too far from okay. me, but I'm like building a tree house with a woman I met selling empanadas on the side cool. of the road. That's cool. I came up here as an El Castillo for uh, uh, an experience with this stuff, and it was magical. It was, you know, I was like in an elevated spiritual state for, for several days. Made like such close bonds with everyone I was with, and then like everybody's going back to the States right now, and I'm still here for a long time. I've been here like over two months already, and I've got... Oh, yeah. Like three weeks left. Nice. So basically like one week here and two weeks on the coast and then I gotta go home because my, my three months is up. They only let you stay here for like 90 days or like three months. Yeah, but you only have to leave for a day and then you can come back. And I'll be back here. We should keep in contact. So I ended up in this art gallery because I met this person. His name is Brian. He's from Oregon. We just started talking and then we sat under a tree and he told me about this art gallery because he just bought some art from here. And now here I am. I don't even know if I'm still going to the hot springs or not. I connected with the fire and the water energy within these paintings because if you look at them, one painting is very bright and very colorful and it has volcanoes and fills you up with, with heat and light. And sitting right next to it, this other one is very different because it's cool and and reminds me of the water. You see the river there, and you see the soft muted lights in the green, and you can see all the water flowing through every single leaf in this painting. They're made by two different artists, but they, they feel like they belong together. This is Andres, he owns this art gallery. I'm loving the energy today. <laughs> We also microdosed some ayahuasca, so just that could be little just a little bit. tiny bit. So maybe that's why I'm feeling this energy. Andreas gave me this canvas because I have paint and no canvas. I was born in Colombia, mm -hmm. and I, I, what I know is the best place to do it is in Peru. Yes. In Ecuador, Peru, Ecuador, with a chaman. Yeah, the Amazon. Very different. Very, very different. Let's see where this adventure takes me next. Bye. Ciao. <laughs> Looks like it's a lot of people in the street. I'm at the hot springs and the people that I met from Spain just happen to be here too. It's so crazy. This light is so bright. So now we're having one big party with three people I met today. <laughs> okay, so where did I leave off? We get to the hot springs. So all four of us are all together now. I told the Spanish people, I'm just gonna go change real quick, go down this trail, and I'll meet you at this really nice spot. So I go off, I get to the spot, the Spanish people are nowhere to be found. I find this instead. Look at how cool that is. 
I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll start walking up the hot spring river and see if I can try and find them. Honestly, it's kind of impossible and my phone doesn't have service. So I'll just walk around. Maybe I'll just find some people to enjoy the hot springs with and I'll just trust the universe that I find a way to get home or find a place to stay. So I see these people. I don't know. I just like their energy. Just start hanging out and talking. Suddenly it's 11 o'clock. One of the guys that was there drove everybody back to La Fortuna. The two German people that I met, they're staying at a hostel. There was no room open at the hostel. The guy who gave us a ride said, I actually have like a school bus that I'm renovating and you can totally stay there if you want. And I was like, okay, I guess I have a place to stay for tonight. Emma <laughs> from Colombia. Wow. I have a problem. My friend didn't bring the coffee. Whatever. This is even better. This gives you more energy than coffee. These mangoes are so good. I just finished the whole story. Mm -hmm. So we were in the water, and then this girl started walking up to us on the river. And then she says, Hola, I lost my friends, but I have beer. <laughs> and that's how you make a connection. I guess we're friends now. Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. That's what we said, right? <laughs> We have two trips planned, so hopefully in the next few weeks we'll make those happen yeah, and sure. take you guys on a really awesome, unique adventure that you've definitely never seen before. Subscribe, like, comment, whatever. Bye! Yeah. <laughs>